In this video, I'll show you how to save new Google Docs documents to OneDrive automatically. So what will happen here? Every time I create a new file into my Google Docs, the same Google Docs file will be uploaded automatically into my OneDrive folder. In this way, you can create a backup of all your Google Drive files into the OneDrive automatically. You do not have to do anything manually. You do not have to manually copy this file and upload it here. So if you also want to automate this process, come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. So here I'm going to create a new Google Docs document which will be uploaded automatically into OneDrive and to automate this process I'll have to first integrate my Google Docs application and OneDrive and I'm going to do that with Pabli Connect. It is an amazing integration and automation software and I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect so here I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in just two minutes from this button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation okay. Now after reaching out to the dashboard, click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I have pasted the name as when new Google Docs file is created, upload the same file and create a backup. Upload the same file in OneDrive and create a backup. Okay, now after providing the name, click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you. Okay, so these are actually trigger and action. Let me show you. All right, trigger and action. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this. Whenever this happens, then automatically do this, okay? Understand with an example also, let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, then automatically send an email via Gmail application, okay? According to our use case, whenever any new file is created, is uploaded into the Google Docs application, then automatically send this file into our OneDrive application, okay? So this is how you you need to always select the application in this trigger and action window in which you are about to create an automation okay and now i'm going to connect these two application with the public connect okay so firstly select a trigger event okay i am selecting this new document into a folder okay and then i'll click on this connect click on this add a new connection and provide the access of your google drive account okay i have already connected my google docs with the public connect earlier so I am going with the existing connection. You can also go with the existing connection. But for the first time, you will have to connect your account. Okay. Now here you can see my Google Docs application is connected with the Pabli Connect. Okay. Firstly, it is showing the folders. Okay. So whatever the folders available inside my Google Drive account have started visible here. Okay. And I have created a folder with the name all latest files and designs. Okay. So I am going to upload all my documents. I am going to create all my new documents inside this particular folder so that is why i will be selecting the same folder and uh, it is the it is actually visible at the top so it has got selected automatically okay and if i'll click on this button you will see a blank response will be initiated here now where the blank response is received because currently I do not have any data. Okay, so I'm going to create a new document in front of you. Okay, it is asking that create uh, create in a shared folder. Yes, in whatever the documents you are about to create, it should be created in the shared folder. Or if you are not creating the document into any specific folder, in that case, your file should be shared. Okay, why I will show you. I will tell you later. Okay, create and share. I have already clicked on that okay asking to provide the uh, document name okay so here I will provide something like content for the social media something like this okay and uh, I will be pasting some content here okay so I have already prepared some content into my notepad I will be directly copy and pasting this content here all right so the document creation into my Google Drive is successful is done okay now I will click on this button once again and you you will see how this time the response is received and it will consist of all the details of that document okay so let me show you the details one by one i'm sorry for that <clears throat> so here we have the web view link if i will open this link into a new tab you will be able to access the very same uh, document all right coming back and let me show you other details here we have the date and time also where are the other details all right here we have the anyone with the link basically it is defining it is telling us the permission of that document okay here we have the email address of the person and here we have all the necessary details okay and you can see i have fetched 
out various kind of links of that document it is actually the plain document it is into the html format it is into the zip format some of them are into the docs format into the pdf format into the zip format okay so the presence of this all data clearly shows that the connection in between my uh, google drive basically in google docs and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay and now i am going to send this data to onedrive application okay so first step is done now moving to the next application and here i will be connecting this onedrive account with the pably connect okay and an action even since i want to upload a file into my document into my folder okay so that is why i have selected the same okay and just like we have connected google docs with the pably connect you'll have to connect this microsoft onedrive with pably connect again you'll have to provide the access of your onedrive account from here all right so i have provided this access so the authorization is successful and onedrive is connected with pably connect okay and the very first field in this field it is showing the folder list it is the same list of folders which is actually available into my onedrive account okay so let me show you this my files okay and whatever the folders available inside my my one drive have started visible here since we are connected okay now i am going to specify that in which particular folder i would like to upload a file okay so i want to upload the file in this all important designs and folders okay so let me search where is that folder all right here we have this folder okay and currently this folder is blank okay and i am going to automatically upload that google docs document here with the help of pably connect asking for the file name okay so remember we have received lot of data into our previous step okay so i am going to collect the name of the file from here only let me show you where is the name here is the display name okay i am looking for the file name okay here we have the file name that is content for the social media and don't worry i don't need to copy this data and paste it here i am going to map it so that every time the new details come here uh that new detail will replace the existing values okay so this is how this automation is going to take place and this is how uh that is why this mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay so i have mapped this detail okay asking for the file url so again i have lot of file urls okay so currently i would like to upload my file url into the docs format so let me search for the uh, file link that is that is document based okay dot document here you can see the uh, extension okay so i have mapped this docx this particular url okay let me show you we have received lot of urls okay where are the urls all right here you can see here we have the plain the html and this is the google docs document okay which i have mapped here okay and again i am telling you whatever the details we have mapped here will replace automatically when this automation will work in real time this file will be default only and make sure that whatever the type you are uploading here you will also have to define the extension in this way okay so currently i am uploading the docs format so that is why i am applying this docs extension click on this button save and send test request and wait for the response all right the response is received going back to my onedrive folder and let me first refresh it and here you can see as soon as i have refreshed the very same document has been uploaded has been added automatically directly from to directly from the google docs directly from my google drive okay here you can see it is the same content it is the same title okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to create a new document into your google drive folder once you will set this automation inside pably connect you do not have to do anything manually because all these files will be synced automatically with the your onedrive folder okay and here let me show you one more important thing okay just in case if you want to upload the pdf format in that case you will have to give this dot pdf extension okay let me first correct it and instead of mapping this uh, file url this time i will be mapping this pdf file url okay let me directly search for this and here we have the very same link into the pdf format okay let me click on this button once again and this is how that pdf format of the same file will be uploaded automatically all right i'll have to wait for that okay i have refreshed uh, other wrong window okay let me refresh this and here you can see content for the social media dot pdf and we have the very same file into the pdf format as well okay 
and let me tell you one more very important thing sometimes your files will not be synced in real time immediately okay so don't worry about that because the trigger here into our google docs is actually the polling based which will trigger uh, basically this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes so don't get bother if your files are not getting uploaded in real time you'll have to wait at least for the 10 minutes patient okay so this is how once you will create this automation inside pabli connect you can sit back and relax and you can even close pabli connect because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this automation i will also attach the link of this workflow this automation inside the description box okay you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.